Alright guys, today we're going to learn about differentiation and we'll learn about its basics. Now, differentiate this if respect to x. Okay, 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 9. Actually, all of this is equals to y. Now, we have that equation. This is an equation. Okay, how do we differentiate this? Well, when we differ, when we differentiate this, okay, when there is a y here, and then at this point you can see the x term, we normally use this term. We normally have this dy over dx. You have to get familiar with this uh, term here. Now, dy over dx sounds like a complicated symbol. But do not worry about that. This is just like one term. Okay. Now we come to differentiation. How we need to know this. Okay. Basically, if you want to differentiate, we have to make sure you break this three here. You bring the power three. With all the power, and just bring it here. So it's a matter of two times three is what six. 6x then you have to minus this with 1 okay you power down this power so it becomes 6x squared now you do the same step for the other rest of the numbers okay plus bring to here becoming 10 x 2 minus 1 is 1 and you don't show up that 1 there and then min minus 4x to the power of 1 1 we bring here 1 times minus negative negative 4 is remains negative 4 and minus 1 my uh, you can see this is plus 1 you can't see here is 1 uh, minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So in that case, according to the law of indices, x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So actually it's just 4 times 1, minus uh, negative 4 times 1. So we just leave 4 alone. And since 9 is just like one number, we don't have to care about that. So in conclusion, you get this answer. Simple as that. Okay, now we're going to do some of the IGCSC questions like this one, which is in the IGCSC exam in October, November 2011. Differentiate this with respect to x. Sir x plus 1, a power of 2 over 3. Now, what can you understand here? Again, always have dy over dx kept in your brain instantly you must have that when you want to differentiate something now don't get panic here because this is just one number okay you can think of it as like something simple now see this circle or square x sounds quite complicated however it is as simple as this Sir x is actually equals to x power of 1 over 2 or half. So basically, in you can actually put here as uh, first we bring it here, bring this power we put here, 2 over 3, okay, and then instead of using this sir x, which sounds complicated, we use x power of half plus 1. Then, using our calculator, 2 over 3 minus 1 is 1, negative 1 over 3. Now what happens next? Okay, this is something special. You have to differentiate this one more time. So using this, now we, can, we have extracted. So in conclusion, is 2 over 3, alright? Um, and then you want to use
use this and we're going to we have extracted the differentiation so it becomes we have the 2 over 3 here okay and then we're going to use the this and we're going to put that value in. we have extracted this small this kind of differentiation small differentiation if we've extracted it then we put this it still remains the same or if we just extract another differentiation just copy this down it sounds complicated but this is the answer all right now let's move on to integration now in questions that are related to integration, we're not going to see this symbol. I don't get panic. We'll go through this in a moment. Integrate this with respect to x. Not integrate the Islamic school. Okay? First off, like if you learn in I think lower secondary, actually you have to expand this. Because this is rule number rule number two in the special rules. Now what happens here? Okay, now this is where you're gonna put the laws. Okay, the laws. Where you must actually understand them. In differentiation, you have to power down this power. However, when it comes to integration, you're going to power up this. What I meant is plus one. Suppose that. Then, which, which so you can when you integrate, you can remove this. It becomes sixteen x cubed, and then we have to put a. It becomes a fraction, and what you have to put in the denominator is what your power uh, after you integrate which is 3 and the rule so uh, implements to the rest okay minus 24 minus 24 x 1 plus 1 is 2 and then because there's 2 here you put 2 there what do we do here here we're just going to put additional x because it's just only one number so we're going to put x in now we're not done yet you have to put c you have to it's in a rules it's called an arbitrary constant it's actually c don't ask me why but you have to place it as a to rules now Check this. Check that if you can still simplify. That is, you can't simplify this, but you can simplify this. Two, one, twelve. So, this two times twelve is twenty-four. So actually, therefore, it is actually sixteen x cubed over three minus 12x squared 12x squared plus 9x plus c there you go this is your final answer apparently integration is actually a reverse of differentiation therefore a question comes to mind. Well, find an expression for y if dy over dx is this. Now, okay. What, what can you understand here? If you want to, um, you know, make it to become so that you can enter to an integration zone, make sure you have a y ready with you y equals to and then don't forget the integral symbol 
this all right i like the long s it's not too long i mean this long but with short lines from here and then um, we just what it is this is an integration this is all about integration this is differentiation but we're not about differentiation we are concerned on integration so we actually we convert this to an integration like that. so now but you can see that you can actually uh, multiply all right now you can start integrating like i said the rules of integration if you want to delete this integral symbol you have to obtain the loss here you have to put the uh, put the correct all right notations according to the loss of integration so actually this is one right so because of that you have to put plus one because of the loss of integration so actually it's 2x uh, square and the 2 currently we put 2 we power up this power and then 1 we will have to put because it's just one number we put x but we can't really say 1x so we just put x only and then with the arbitrary constant c you have to put c some people may get careless of this and they lose marks therefore with a final answer you can cancel this up and therefore therefore y equals to x squared plus x plus c all right so that's all about a different this is all about um, um all about the basics of differentiation of integration i hope you can get an idea on this on the basics um well thank you guys for attention and i'll see you guys next time for uh, another video